This guy stinks! Welcome back to Roblox The Wild West, and uh, as you can see by the title, I finally got myself a Spitfire Revolving Sniper. Um, you saw in the intro, but it cost me 666,666. I think that's how you say that. But basically, it was six sixes. Um, and uh, some people, or I, I, by some I mean one person, said that was a little bit of an overpay, um, that I could get one for 500k. But I hadn't seen that recently. I mean, if you get lucky, someone got one for like 300k, but it's not very usual. When I started uh, grinding, they were going for 700, 715k. So I think under 700k for me was a W, but the Spitfire is amazing. Uh, let me show you one of the features that I actually love about it. Uh, I saw this in a YouTube video, but if you put on cinematic mode and then zoom in uh, by toggling F, it gives you a full screen like binocular effect basically like I can see pretty much everything and everyone um, I don't see any people but that might be because of the render distance but you can see like the windmill moving you can see all of bronze city you can even see the cows maybe you can see people if there are people over there that's insane but yeah you can see pretty much everything uh, you can only do that with the Sharps Rifle and the Spitfire, because these are currently the only two guns in the game that have a, uh, t a scope, and the scope on the Spitfire is toggleable by pressing F. Uh, it has an iron sights, which is the default mode, which is great for closer uh, range combat, and uh, obviously the scope is made for longer range combat. Uh, Alright, here we are. This is where I did my grinding. Now, some of you are gonna be like, well, there's a better method that gets you like 30K an hour that um, I think Equinox made a video on, or maybe it was Axel's. Uh, but either way, this is where I did my grinding for all 700K. Uh, it took me seven days, so I averaged 100K a day, and I'll put my real pro uh, statistics for the week uh, up on the screen. Now, I did do this last week. It's been a week in between getting the Spitfire. I got it last Wednesday at like 3 in the morning and uh, today because I was kind of just, you know, uh, playing the game. I started a, a gem collection. I started collecting some other things in the game. So I've just kind of been playing and uh, I haven't uploaded a video on the Spitfire yet, but this is actually legitimately where I did my grinding. Now, there are better methods, but what I will say is if you have only a pickaxe, and I used a Patterson for most of the grinding in your inventory, that'll give you 28 free slots, and that is enough to get every single rock, including the last one, which is up there. Um, each rock contains like two lives, which gives you two uh, limestone ores, and it has a very, very high chance of giving you an emerald as well, because emeralds are the only gems that come out of limestone, and those sell for an additional $300. So. At minimum, if you grind here, you're making 1.680. So that's 1,680. And if you get an additional emerald, you add $300 onto that minimum every single time. Uh, I would say one in three rounds uh, of like coming here gets you an emerald. Uh, sometimes you'll get multiple rounds back to back. I, I got an emerald three times in a row multiple times from coming here. And... The most emeralds that I got here was five in one round. Uh, I, I do have a screenshot I'll put on screen of that. Uh, Anyways, I think that's gonna do it, uh, do it for our Spitfire video. Uh, it's a pretty good gun. Do I think it is as good as it came out? Of course not. Uh, it was a laser machine. You could kill a person in two hits. Nowadays, it doesn't do that unless you're from long range. So you can't like go through bronze with a Spitfire like in the good old days. 
Do I still think it's an amazing gun that is very useful? Yes, it's a great gun for long range, killing people's horses and knocking them off the horses. It's also great for hunting. Um, I personally, even though I have the Winchester, I just keep the Spitfire on. Not only is it a little bit of a flex, but I, I find it useful for hunting and for killing people from longer ranges. Um, and if, like I said, if you really uh, are struggling to kill people with a Spitfire, you can always get a Winchester or a Lynx. Those are great for PvP. But uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.